All right, Shalom, 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 Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord's Way to Edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors. To our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible. And Heruel, Inshallahwam, Labachorium, Wabarakim, Shayasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashiwan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. This is the book of Ezekiel, the seventh chapter. In the fifth verse, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord Power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, that's who the word ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. It says, In evil, and only evil, behold, is come, right? Evil meaning bad times, misfortunes, catastrophes, aka the judgments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. We in those times now, man. The scripture says, Behold, it's coming and it's here, man. It's here right now. And it's intensifying and it's going to continue to uh, uh, intensify until the, the Lord returns, man. Who the world even calls Jesus Christ, which, by the way, is a so called black man, according to the scriptures. So I'm going to read this again and I got another quick precept. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, chapter 7, verse 5. Salakia. This is Ezekiel 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord power, but uh, in evil, and only evil, behold, is come, and judgment is going forth for the people's wickedness, man. The Lord says that he was going to reward you according to your works, according to your deeds. The scripture says you reap what you sow, all right? So, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is making moves, man, who the world ignorant calls God in Jesus Christ. You know, is 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 they they're doing their thing, man. We're just hoping and praying that we be a part of the elect, so we can remain to be protected and Lord's willing delivered. So this is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter thirty, verse five. For thus saith the Lord, we had we we have heard a voice of trembling, and fear, and not of peace. You see that, and we in those times now. Just look at that earthquake that happened in Turkey and Syria, man. There was no there was no mirth. There was no rejoicing. Only fear and trembling. All right? And, and, and all over uh, um, in different parts of the world, you know, that's, that's catching a little bit more hell than America. You see, they're in, they're in a state of mourning. They're in a state of uh, fear. All right? But it's going to be even worse when Yahweh Bashim Shah really turns up the heat in Babylon the Great, which is America, man. Because we in those times of judgment, but the Lord's going to really, really do something to the people in Babylon the Great, which is America, man. To where they really, really see, you know what I'm saying, the judgment of the Lord. So this is the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord. This is thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. We have heard a voice of trembling. And of fear and not of peace, because there's no peace coming, man. It's only going to be destruction, judgment at the judgment at the judgment. I just read in Ezekiel 7 and 5, and only evil behold is come and it's here. And it's going to intensify, intensify and it's here to stay. That spirit of judgment, that spirit of uh, catastrophe, like you see on the screen, a disastrous event, misfortune, and catastrophes is going to continue to happen, man. You know? So let's go to the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 18. And it says, Woe, which means a death and destruction, unto you that desire the day of the Lord. That's going into the hypocrites. You know, you got these um, guys that call themselves Israelites, Okay? But they're doing wickedness behind closed doors, being a bunch of hypocrites, actors and pretenders. You know what I'm saying? They 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 saying that um they can't wait for the Lord to come back. You got the wacky tacky Christians talking about they can't wait for the day of the Lord. They can't wait for the Lord to come back. All right, but they've been wicked as hell the whole time. 
So I'm going to read this again. This is the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 18. Woe, which means a death and destruction, unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, what's going to be your end result? You know, you were doing all type of abominable acts, abominable deeds, which is wicked, filthy acts. You know, you've been you've been uh, celebrating your birthday, celebrating these pagan holidays, smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, you know, committing adultery, men sleeping with other men's wives, women sleeping around their men. You know, the women twerking, they're, they're talking back to their man. This, this, this whole place is just completely out of order, man. So you think the Lord is going to come back with, 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 uh, with, with, with what's that, uh, joy to the world, everybody come together, hugs and lollipops, man? No, that's not according to the scriptures. The scripture says the day of the Lord is darkness. I mean, it's a day of destruction. All right? There's no light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> you know, especially when that judgment comes, you know? There ain't going to be no time to repent. It's going to be too late for our people, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That's one the ones that have been rebellious. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Right, so he went from a, 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 a bad situation to a worse situation. All right, meaning like um, uh, his car might have broke down. He might have lost his job. You know, and then, you know, you catching hell at the house, you know, and then especially during the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, you're going to go from, oh, man, listen, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have to worry about the bandits, you know what I'm saying, trying to get you, trying to uh, steal your resources, trying to kidnap you, you know, and then you got to worry about the cannibals, you know, it's going to go from a bad situation to a worse situation, right? Evil on top of evil, it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So there's no escaping the judgment of Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, especially during the time of Jacob's trouble, man, you know, and they can't escape the judgments now. The judgment that the Lord is bringing down, you know, they can't escape from that. They can try to pray all they want to. The Lord ain't hearing that, man. You know? So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is, is bringing more judgment and intensifying the judgments. That's called misfortunes, catastrophes, evils, judgments, man. That's the times that we're living in now, and they're going to continue to intensify. That that that, that makes us um be more in order to the best of our abilities, man. You know? Because the Lord, Lord is, is, is getting more pissed off by the day. So this is the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city? And the people be not afraid? Right? The only one that's going to hearken to the sound of the trumpet is the elect. All right? That's who we do these videos for. And that's who we teach this word for anyway. We know that the majority of our people, which the two-thirds, they ain't going to take heed. They're going to keep being rebellious until the Lord brings that judgment. And there, there are to be examples. You know? All the rappers, entertainers, and athletes, you know what I'm saying, that are Israelites, even the average Jake on the street, man, that's getting deleted by the Lord, that puts more faith and faith in us, you know? Keeps us doing what we're doing to the best of our abilities, fearing the Lord and keeping the commandments to the best of our abilities. It says, shall there be evil, bad times in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Yeah, injuries, sicknesses. Uh, uh, violence, you know, household divisions, relationships ain't working, you know, just pure hell, man, pure catastrophes, pure misfortunes. That's from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorant calls God in Jesus Christ. Verse 7 Should the Lord power would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, which are men, the men of the Lord, beginning with the elder apostles. And the elder bishops of Great Millstone are down. All right. The Lord used those men as well as us younger brothers to push this word to the best of our abilities, man. Before the Lord makes the judgment. Like it says in Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things that come to pass and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of it. Meaning we give you warning before the Lord makes that move. Before the Lord makes that judgment. So there will be no excuse, man. You can't say you didn't hear the word. 
like it says in uh, Romans, the 10th chapter, verily they heard the word. The sound went out through all the earth, so there's no close, there's no excuse. Everybody knows who the Hebrew Israelites are. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. So the judgments that and that the judgment that's coming down is definitely justifiable because the Lord don't do no wickedness and He don't make no mistakes. So let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes or Sirach, chapter eleven, verse fourteen. Prosperity and adversity, right? So whether you're doing real good, everything is going smooth, or whether you're catching hell, man. You know, you can get uh, a sick, you know what I'm saying? Um uh, your car might break down, your woman might leave you, you know, kids being demons, pets being demons, you know, go to the job to catch hell on the job, you know, that, that that's from the Lord, as I'm about to read on, life and death, poverty and riches, right, poverty is another judgment of the Lord, you don't got to pop the piss in or the window to throw it out, like all these homeless jakes and all these homeless people, those are judgments from you, how about Shemmy, how shot, you know, and even the ones that's that's rich and so-called prospering in this world, they're really they're really miserable, you know. They're really bugged out of their minds, but the Lord is going to intensify and uh and keep bringing destruction on them too. It says, "Come of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who the war ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ." So evils, catastrophes, calamities, misfortunes. That all comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, who the world even calls God in Jesus Christ. So now, let's go from there to the book of Jeremiah. Let's keep these precepts rolling. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. Matter of fact, verse 7. This is Jeremiah 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear now, it's like a hear, hear thou now this word that I speak unto thine ears. And into the ears of all the people. The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesy. You see, so that's how the Lord speaks. The Lord speaks through his service, the prophets, the men of the Lord that he said it to teach this word, right? It says, The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesy, which means to say before. That's the job of a prophet, right? To speak the prophecies of the Bible before they actually come to pass, you know? And that's the spirit of Great Millstone, man. You know, speaking these prophecies, you know, instead of the scriptures, whether people hear, whether they forbear, man. Constantly, diligently, right? Both against many countries and against great kingdoms, right? Saying it's going down, it's going to be destroyed right along with these people. That's 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 down with it. It says uh, of war, right? World War Three, class wars, gender wars, economic wars, civil wars. You know, wars within the household, you know, just all out chaos and turmoil and misfortunes and evils, right? It says, end of evil, bad times. There's going to be more uh, loss of jobs, all right? Especially those who don't receive the MOTB, all right? Which is the CHIP, you know, um, there's going to be more, uh, um, dang, more relationship issues, you know, there's going to be more division and more love than many, wax and cold, more robberies, you know, more all that, man, more sicknesses, all that. And it says end of pestilences, which is uncurable diseases, man. That's, that, that, that's, it's going to continue to happen, you know. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, all the way to this place be destroyed by that fire from the thermal, from the missiles and the laser beams from the chairs with the word even to cause you a fools. So let's go to Isaiah 45, verse 7. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, bad times. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. Man, you can't get around that, you know? So even the bad times and um, hell that we catch, man, but we understand why, you know, because we got the fear of Yahweh by Shimei Hawashah, we understand these scriptures. That's why we repent daily to Yahweh by Shimei Hawashah for the sins and wickedness that we do in this life and in our past life, man. All right, because the Lord is definitely turning the knob up and it's getting more hotter in the kitchen, man. You know, judgment is, is going out, it's going back and forth. 
And that's the Lord that's doing it. So let's see. So I think that was it. That was pretty much the point. Let's see. Through the spirit poppy, how about Shim Al Shah by Shim Kakwadash? Bear with me. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um I'll bring this out. This is Ecclesiastes or Sirach, chapter 40. I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners, right? Especially guys who know that they're Israelites, but teaching lies willfully and deliberately. There's a complete amount of judgments that the Lord got for you, man, waiting on you, you know, unless you repent. Verse 9, it says, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, which I got on the screen, disastrous events, misfortunes, catastrophes. It says, uh, tribulations. It says, famine. There's going to be a famine of food, water, the famine of the word, you know. It says, tribulation and the scourge. All these things are created for the wicked. And, and for their sakes came the flood. So the flood that happened during the time of Noah. All right. All right. De uh, destroyed them all because of their wickedness, man. Our people was doing the same wicked acts that they're doing, uh, that they're doing now. They was doing back then. Ain't nothing new under the sun, man. Our people was idol worshiping. All right. Doing drugs, you know. Uh, you know, uh, being in the spirit of partying, murfing it up scoffing and scorning you know the spirits that was there back then during the time of noah you know when he was prophesying is the same spirits that's uh now man doing the same wicked acts man you know and they're going to get destroyed man just like they did back then the lord flooded them out now they're going to have to feel that fire man now they're going to get burnt to a crisp all judgments from yahweh by shimmy Shah for their wickedness man you reap what you sow. He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect to persons, man. So the man going to get it. The wicked men going to get it. The wicked women going to get it. And the wicked children going to get destroyed. You know, here in Babylon the Great, especially. All right. And that's according to biblical prophecy. So Lord's Witness is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Lord's willing to next time I say shalom, Lord's willing.